Morning Mark Wrap Operations o South Open Chain Fire on September 20th, 2020. So uh, yesterday we had a good day. Uh, folks were um, were doing well out there. Um, so divisions are primarily in the mop-up phase uh, at this point, uh, as we have been for the last couple days. Just continuing to increase that depth on the uh, on all the perimeters. Um, everything back to the uh, uh, west here, Division Alpha, Eagle Point, Shady Cove, all this is up here, Indian Creek, uh, Derby Road, uh, all that's looking really good. That's the early part of the fire um, and that's, that's had the, a lot of work done to it. So this will uh, continue to uh, look good. They're, they're just gonna pretty much go into a patrol mode there. Most of the actual uh, suppression operations are uh, declining. We've actually uh, reduced the uh, night staffing on the fire uh, significantly overnight and we'll be, a lot of uh, the night work will just be some patrols out there. We won't be actively uh, uh, working you know with dozers, heavy equipment, any of that stuff. That, that workload is pretty much uh, uh, minimized and, and um, decreased significantly. So primarily patrol mode at night uh, and that's mainly in the uh, this uh, southern uh, division alpha near Eagle Point, Shady Cove up in there. So uh, continued work up on the uh, Derby Road to South Fork here, which is just outside outside of uh, Butte Falls there. Uh, still quite a bit of work in there, just continuing to increase that uh, depth on the uh, perimeter um, using, uh, well, we've been using uh, uh, the drone UAS uh, to uh, determine where the hot spots that are left are and um, so we're using that tool um, it's becoming uh, more effective as we uh, as we kind of learn what the capabilities of that tool are um, over here in uh, division on the uh, east side of the fire over here in division uniform um, still that's uh, again I that's in the heavier timber, so it's gonna take a little while longer to get that fully mopped up. Uh, a lot more uh, depth, uh, depth in there. Um, we got you know heavy timber litter, duff, those kinds of things, which uh, can hold heat for a lot, lot longer period of time than over here on the uh, west side, where it's a little bit lighter fuel load. Um, see, with that, uh, so that, you know, as folks, uh, repopulate and get back into their uh, in their home areas just want to make a note that uh, you know we, we get reports uh, from the, the public there that uh, you know they've seen a, a flickering flame out there or something that's well interior um, you know we, we, we don't we don't want you to discourage anybody from reporting anything but uh, they need to realize that uh, we're not going to mop up every single smoke out there um, so we're, do, we're doing due diligence to get a good solid perimeter on to keep the fire from expanding, but we're not going to put it 100% out. It's just not uh, possible. It's not practical uh, from that standpoint. So um, if you have concerns, you certainly can call that in, and we'll do our best to try and uh, accommodate that. But uh, you'll see, continue to see smokes well inside the interior of the fire for until we get the season-ending event, which is usually equated to about a quarter inch or more of rain or snow. Um, uh, and that'll pretty much put this thing to bed. So just understand that and, uh, and appreciate your patience in us uh, and their uh, help working with us to try and uh, put this thing to bed. Thanks.